guys, Dogfood here. Uh, just trying out my new my stand and see. Hopefully, this is an easier thing for me to uh, record without uh, crouching. So I'm using uh, Lost Judgment as one of my video uh, trying to. So let's say we do a quick quest here. So task here, um, side cases, uh, the body model works at night. I think we finished that. Um, Need to speak to Nato, right? And then Paradise US online. Right, right, right. Okay, head to par so we're gonna go. Let's go either uh, go to uh, the client at Mangu or Paradise VR, and we can use this to uh, kind of give ourselves. Uh, wait, there's a cap. Where's the cap? Taxi. There we go. Uh, to give ourselves, you know, basically for me to try whether or not this microphone is actually uh, working without. Issue right, they go here, and I am going to let's go to the north side of Chinatown. I mean, I got the uh, all right, so we are here, and let's see, uh, not that one, I think it's this one. All right, let's go. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, sorry. That was not what I meant to do. I was going to run, but obviously. Um, wait, what is this? Oh, let's take a look at that. The store here. Can I even get to that though? Uh, or do I have to go in from the others? Oh wait, what is this? What in the world? basement one what is this uh oh that's the guy where i okay yeah this is the guy who makes the super soup i had to be the bearer of bad news but neither of our documents seems to match anything on record never mind the words the letter themselves are a puzzle mm. <sighs> i figure as much mm -hmm. hey who is this Yamasan. Uh? He's the owner of the ancient codex I was telling you about. Bet you didn't know I was acquainted with a college professor. Gotcha. So he's the one who's been helping you with your research. I am Tatsuomi Yoshikawa, the Inoshima College of Cultural Studies. Uh, I specialize in ethnology and folklore. Yagami this. I am Takayuki Yagami. Detective, can you explain to me what the Kodak is? Simply put, it's an ancient manuscript with great historical significance. This one has been uh, in my family for generations. Long ago, one of my ancestors helped res uh, resuscitate an injured mountain dweller and was given the Kodak as his thanks. But since the Kodak is written in an unknown language, none of us have ever understood its contents. However, Yama-san here may be able to change that. See? The extract formula he possesses is nearly identical to what's in my codex, and he's already poured a lifetime's worth of research into it. Uh. Indeed I have. After all comparing my research with uh, Yoshikawa-san here, we decided it's best to work together from this point on. Naruhodo. It's meeting of minds. What are you two found so far? Not much. Unfortunately, it's a slow and painstaking process. Furthermore, the language slightly differs between our documents, which only adds to the complications. Of all the extinct languages I've encountered, this one is truly a chimera. This might be unscientific to say, but it almost seems otherworldly at times. Uh, otherworldly, as in you think it could be rich in aliens? Kind of pair out with that UFO mission that we had. I kind of prefer the Tengu theory. <laughs> Yagami-san. I've asked you to gather materials, haven't I? That's also part of the research, a crucial mm. one. Our hope is that our researching, uh, recreating the extract from in Yoshikawa-san's codex, and we might be able to decipher the document as a whole. Sorette. How do you figure that? Well, deciphering the text portion may be difficult. The document has drawing and the extract materials too to provide invaluable context. Granted, some of these materials appear to be fanciful fairy tale things. But Yama-san seems to know where they, uh, what they actually reference. Mm. After all, I look at them for decades. Now some of these things you can get around here, but I can think of some substitutes. Which bring us to our request. We'll need you to collect certain materials, brew them into extracts, and confirm then 
uh, their efforts on the body. Basically, I'm, wait, am I gonna be testing this on myself? Uh, by matching the data of their corresponding parts of the codex, we eventually have a pattern of language. Once we do, the code is as good as crack. Mm. I think I kind of get it now. Maybe uh, one letter at a time, but we eventually be able to decipher the codex in its entirety. And what's written inside may provide information regarding Yamasan's ancestors. Uh. At last, the past I have been chasing nearly within reach. A mysterious people in possession of an arcane knowledge that surpassed modern science. Perhaps they really are Tengu. <laughs> Is that a scholastic or a personal opinion? At any rate, I've got high hope for you, Yagami-san. Will you help an old man discover his past? Hey. <laughs> I'll help you however I can. Thank you. Sorry to put this on you right away, but could you start by briefing me some roses? That wouldn't be... I think we have. Extracting the truth. So I think we do have roses, right? Let me see uh, inventory. Unless I'm thinking about um, Yakuza Guide and Mega Dragon Guide and uh, items. Uh, valuables. No. This guy's gear. Shortcuts. Uh, these are probably consumables, right? So miscellaneous, miscellaneous. All right, let's see. Do I have roses? Uh, right there, Rose. Gonna talk to him. Uh, handle materials. Uh, no. <laughs> Wonderful. Willow snake. I'll try making it. Ancient codex to figure. Anyway, we need to bring some garlic next. Dude, man, this is getting, um... Should I do hand over materials? Do I have garlic? I uh, know. <laughs> Let's see. I do have Russian tiger. How's the research been going? Better? You remember Yashikawa san, uh, sensei? Because of what you supplied us, he's been able to decipher all sorts of information. Each discovery is more thrilling than the last. This does sound exciting. You might actually discover something about your past as well. <laughs> That's my hope. According to Yushikawa Sensei, he almost cracked the code in its entirety. So I'll be counting on you to finish gathering all those materials. Um, next up is a four leaf clover. Are you kidding me? Do you think you can get your hands on one? Jesus. All right. So, um, do I actually have? I doubt it. I absolutely don't think I have. Uh, picked up a lot of crap on the. I do have... You gotta be kidding me. I did not anticipate that. I have a recipe you might find useful. Dancing crane. Uh-oh. <coughs> Some might be hard to swallow, but we choose to believe what's written here. Then it seems your ancestor, Yamasan, were in fact Chinese sorcerers who crossed the ocean ages past. They later became the hermits of the mountains. Mm -hmm. Yes, you claim was fiercely devoted to study what you call extracts, but in Codex they call... Uh, oh my god, I can never... Elixirs. Yeah, there we go. The reason they Im Im uh, immigrated to Japan is not stated. Anyhow, not long after their arrival, they were able to make them to vessel a permanent ruling family after demonstrating their miraculous powers. Elixirs in hand, they treated illness, warded off invaders, imported, uh, improved their domain's livelihood in many ways, and seen the life as good for them. Hmm. My goodness! So, they're not even from this country. However, as the wheel of history turned, they eventually sought refuge in the wilderness. Sorette. Well, certain local lore began converting their power, intended to use it for conquering surrounding territory, are you saying they were forced to use the elixir for war? Evidently, that was the plan. An army could uh, heal any injury or summon supernatural strength that would have certainly been unstoppable. But the clan despised that notion and fled to the remote mountains. And to prevent from being found, they became nomads. They also began to write in codes, obscuring them secrets from those who exploit them, which would explain the mysterious of this codex. Then Yamasan, you might really be a hermit after all, or at least a descendant of one. 
<laughs> so my ancestor renounced a life of comfort and even defied the government, all to keep their work from being exploited. What fine people they were. Now think about it, Yamasan also didn't want his work getting exploited. Guess he's inherent their spirit. Ishikawa-san, let me ask you, was it a historical record or more of a myth or a cultural invented? This is the question, isn't it? That is the question. As a researcher, it's my responsibility to sort fact from fiction. My understanding is that this codex was written as a way to passing down the clan's legacy. The story it tells certainly compelling, but unfortunately, I can't think of a single historical document that can corroborate the tale we just heard. So, as a researcher, I cannot acknowledge what's written here as an indisputable fact. Tsumari. Well, the most legend myth have some truth to them, and depending on their interpreter, who interpret the story may change. You're very sharp. When we study ancient cultures, it's important to remember the imagination was just uh, as real as then the observation is to us. All myth leads to truth on some level. That makes sense. I can accept that. I'll tell you this, Ishikawa Sensei. In spite of everything, my ancestors managed to faithfully hand down their tradition through the ages. And now the tradition has been properly handed to me. To me, that's all I care about, no matter how true or made up. It's enough for me. Uh, it's enough to give me life real meaning. Yes, you made a salient point just now. The identity of a community, the culture that built a uh, shared traditions, and their tradition that has helped communities together and allowed them to flourish. Legend or not, this knowledge is priceless. Mm. Yes, and thanks to what I learned today, how to put it, is that my entire life I was tossed in all directions by in the wind, but now I feel firm ground to walk on. I finally have the foundation I was searching for. I can only imagine. Here is something else for you. I found another passage stating that somewhere in the mountain of Shinsu lies the secret resting place of your people. If you like, why don't we go visit together? Mm -hmm. Take me to my ancestors' grave? I'm sure they'd be proud of you, Yamasan. Having you spend your life carrying their legacy, you should greet them with your head how high. Uh. Maybe so, then how about once I wrap things up in the shop, you and I take a trip. After a lifetime of searching for closure, I finally found the answer to my past. Words cannot can express my gratitude, yeah, uh, Yagami-san. Hey. Alright, so uh, we, we cracked the case, I guess. I don't know if there is a... Uh, oh my god, 3,050. Alright, I'll take that. Alright, so... Um, let's go back to do uh, a virtual session of that game. Uh, because one thing with, uh, you know, it's all dialogue just now, so it's kind of quiet. But what I really want to do is to be able to see how I react when um, I'm in either fighting mode or gaming mode. Um, I, because it's I'm trying to really keep a good balance between uh, me talking while during action sequence. So for example, let's take a look at this. Because when we're fighting, right? Ooh, wow. Basically, my, my voice, I think my, my sound goes down lower and, and the fighting's much bigger. So, I mean, granted, like, it's probably not gonna do anything if I'm talking while fighting, but uh, I would still like to uh, have you guys hear my comments, right? How, for however useless it is. Alright, so let's go to the virtual uh, cafe. And. Uh, Let's see. Let's go. Uh, uh, can I get a blunt coffee? You cannot drink anymore. Jesus. All right. Fine. Cancel. Yes. Alright. Now can go to. Can go up. Uh. Basement level. And let's get a ticket and play for free, I guess. Welcome to Paradise VR. I'm Naitu Daitu. I'll be your receptionist today. Mm -hmm. Don't recognize you from commercial branch to think you're still in character. In character? Oh no, my name is actually Naitu Daitu. But at least you remember me. <laughs> there we go, Tashiro. Funny how Lady and Knights that so we ended up working as for <laughs> at a dice parlor, right? Let's just say it's one of my many selling points during the job interview. Yeah, yeah, me. Yeah, come uh. on, play. Let's play it. Compete. Um, 
We got a whole roster of them ready to go. All model with me, latest CGI software. Even Knights of John come up uh, with a few characters. Fair warning, my creations aren't as Naitu as I am. Hey. All right, so we are going to play. If you remember from the original version, basically you roll dice, and it's almost like you know Mario Party. And you just hope that I just hope that I don't end up being, uh, I guess, die because if I die, I lose everything. Something like that. There we go. All right. So use skill cancel, roll the dice, check bonus, and then we'll see what happens. Doesn't matter. Let's take a look. And you roll the dice, right? Okay. Start. All right. Um. So this and a new, fresh, new face. Howdy, the name is Koro Miyam. Okay. I was born and raised in Hiroshima. Back home, I always dream of being big time mascot. And well, here I am. Sure, it's nice to have some company as doggone virtual prison of my hee <laughs> Now, let me learn you the rules. There are a couple basic things you ought to know from uh, about Dice Cube. First, you all can start rolling them X and stop with X. Lastly, this is the most important one. You gotta get to the goal before your arrival. So this is a race. You roll dice just as you move around. All right, the game ends when your rival makes it to the goal. So keep it in mind, Sunny. Anyway, why don't you just give it a try? Time for your first row. Don't be nervous now, Sunny. Loosen up. And uh, all right, there you go. I'm gonna turn. All right, 20, 29 spaces. And stop. Four. All right. Wait, can I, can I, I thought I can go, no? I thought I was gonna go, no? Go, stop. Oh, okay. Three. One, two, three. Got an item from the purple store, right? Get your hand on some nice stuff. Give space, take what you get. Paper play, ah. All right, now it's uh, Tashiro, right? Oh my God, he is so annoying. Four, so he's beating me by one. But it's an enemy. You ever got into an event space? Oh boy, what's gonna be? Complete the mission. Not bad. Get a Browns play. All right. So, uh, civilian level game. All right, it's my turn. Check bonus. You can check. Uh, knock them while I have fun. All right. So basically, these are additional user skills twice. Get to go within 15 turns. Basically, additional money. All right, that's fine. Just gonna roll. Four. One. Two. Three. Hold on, let me see. I can only go this way. Four. Event. Parkour challenge? What do I do? You got a reward depending on how far you can make it to the wall. You might see stuff falling on your way. Parkour space. Stepping in this. All right, I don't know. Let's just do it. <sighs> Three, two, one. Oh. What does this uh, orb do? Does it give me more energy? Is that what happens? Alright. I think so. Yo, I'm running out of time. I mean, all right, not too bad, I guess.
prepaid card. Five, what is this? Uh, you can cash this item for 5,000. Eh, it's okay. Five starts. Alright, now it's my opponent. I mean, yes, it's interesting, but I don't know, man. It's like taking such a long time, but uh, I guess you can really lose yourself in here. Alright, space is gonna be. So what happens? Alright, finish. Also get a high pay card, so pretty much the same thing. Alright, uh, let me see, what do I do now? Roll the dice. Five. Alright, so I can go up. You're snatching and careful here. Okay, so the long wanderer of virtual Ijin Cho, Karu Neon, is misspelling digital. Or after selling your item, uh, will flee to another space. If you win, you reclaim. Okay. Now I am going to. Oh wait, what's in the front? Uh, I'm gonna go this way. Yep, I'm gonna go this way. I, I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. Open a safe. It's a safe space. Use your lock pick. Oh my god, lock picking. I haven't done this in a while. View control, move up and down, pick. Okay. Yeah, I remember this. Uh. Alright. Alright, I gotta move, 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 move. Okay. I forgot about this. All right, let's see. Hopefully I can get to uh, the end because uh, this is getting longer. I think I'm just gonna do one game and just relax and chill, right? And then fighting with the enemies. Wow, okay. Alright, my turn. Oh no, I. Oh my god. I kind of knew it. If you see it the moment you press it, it kind of just goes through that. Alright, we're gonna fight. Alright, it's a battle spell here to take the battle. Your turn skip if you help the wrong tell. So watch it. One start. Within time limit? Alright. Shouldn't be that bad. I mean... But it's actually, you know... Uh, yeah. I mean, Yagami is not particularly strong. Maybe if I use the tiger style, maybe. Oh god, how do you... Get up! There we go. All right, acquire 180 SP. I'll take that. Browns play. But then I kind of got slowed down. Now, now my opponent can probably catch me. One, oh, one, one step behind. Two steps behind. All right, I'm gonna try to catch uh, premium cat food. All right, my turn. I'm going this way for sure. Barmak is in the glorious King Koryan himself. Passing him means you will be traveling double speed. That's okay, that's if I get him though. Right? Drone battle? Oh Jesus. Uh, R2 to make your drone fire. Oh, R2 rapid fire. All right, let's do it. I don't know, man. <laughs> All right, two, one, go. How many more? 
Get it? Alright. Wasn't too bad. Oh, platinum play. Alright, I'll take that. Slow, 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 slow. Okay, that's good. That means you're gonna fight the enemy. And hopefully I'll get the Koto 9, the king. All right, my turn. What is the skill? Time for me to explain skills so you can beat the rival. These are special abilities. Pick what skill you want to use with X, but you can only use skill before you roll the dice. You can use skill using... <clears throat> okay. Uh, roll charge. Roll change. Okay. Oh, okay. You see ya, oh magnificent King Koro. You know what this means, don't you? Activating Koro mode. What? what does that do? Time for Koro modes, baby. We're blasting through this puppy. Alright, so we're gonna go... Uh, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go. And down. Gift. Prepare car. Oh, all right. I don't. What? What did it do, though? Oh, he's also using the road change, right? Shoot. Alright, so I'm gonna use one more because I think if you use the second one, that kind of give you the uh, achievement, if I remember correctly. So I'm gonna try to do that. Silver plate. Right. All right. If I remember, right? Huh? Just roll the dice then. Six. Nice. Oh, a double. One. All right, because the king. Two. That will make me winner. Four. Five. Six. And go. Huh, interesting. What do I win? Alright, so I get the platinum, so that's ten that a hundred thousand, the pre-K car, bunch of pre-K car alright, those are alright, so this trip I earn a hundred forty six thousand five hundred yen. Alright. If you have someone like you uh you get to clear price on top of that, so yes, I do have the stars. Oh, not bad. You got extra reward for a mission. Wonder how much you get. So the only thing is I should have used one more skill. Right? I was I should have just used that and then roll it. Uh, within 15 turns. Don't take damage. Alright. And Wow, that's some way to earn money. Uh if you look at this. Mousers, look at you knock some skills you're in the game. Time for another big howl. Uh, oh. Oh, this, this is where you can grind money. Okay. Interesting. So, how was it? Ooh. Actually, I found it pretty fun, right? Dyson Cube is the next level concept, but if you haven't noticed, we are kind of empty. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> Real talk, I think the rival in this game used some work. They kind of uh, uninspired, you know. What game really needs is a roster of pure badasses. One you'll never forget even after the fight is nah. done. Of course you do. Um, then tweaks and make time to witness my map produce skill, production, uh, producer skills in action. To see upgrades next time you Look stop by. You do what you need to do as for me. I'll see you later. Alright, maybe there are other characters. I'm not sure. 
So for that, I get another two, 20,000 and three uh, and change, right? So this I can play. Um, okay, I don't necessarily need to stay here. Let me just get out of here. Um, did I not take any damage? Let me see. Yeah, I didn't. Oh, wow. Okay, so I can't even... All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop here because this is really just me checking things out. And um, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this. And I know I'm definitely going to do a full series on this before Yakuza Infinite Wealth comes out. All right, see you guys later.